What are the best cellular data plants for RVers and cruisers? It's time for another update. Hi there, I am Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center. And we track mobile internet options for RVers and cruisers, and of course cellular data plans are one of the things that we put a lot of time and attention to because this is always changing. The carriers and the vendors and the terms and service are always changing as to what makes the best cellular data plan for an RVer and cruiser to use as a home internet replacement. So to put some context on this, we are focused on plans that provide a lot of mobile hotspot data. Data that you can use, not just to use on device on a smartphone, but you can use as mobile hotspot to get laptops and streaming devices and gaming systems and video surveillance systems online and connected. Just like you might at a sticks and bricks house using a cable or DSL connection. Now, if you are watching this video much after March 2020, when I am filming this, please do check to see if we have a more current version of this video. We put out a few of these a year as there are major updates in the industry. And speaking of updates, there's not a lot that has changed for most of the carriers since we filmed this last video back in November, but all the changes are on AT&T. So if you see me wearing a green shirt in the videos up ahead, I'm just reusing content that I filmed back in November to save some time. I'm gonna be focusing on the changes on AT&T. So if you watched the last video, just skip ahead. Okay, first, Verizon. Still the carrier that seems to have the most nationwide 4G LTE coverage. And the options on them have been a little bit difficult in this last year since they retired that sweet prepaid unlimited jetpack plan. So the current options for them, we think the best one right now is probably going to have to go to Visible. This is a prepaid own brand of Verizon. It is a smartphone plan. So it is only available for activation on smartphones. Now, what makes this plan sweet is using their new party pay, you can get onto a plan for as little as $25 per month. And that plan includes unlimited high speed on device data when you're using your smartphone. But the important feature for those of us using hotspot features, hotspot is included for free, it is unlimited, and by their terms of service, it is supposed to be capped at five megabit per second, which is plenty fast enough for most things. However, we still have multiple reports since they had a change in terms on the speed cap that mobile hotspot enforcement of that cap is very variable. So you may actually get faster speeds a lot of the time, but go in with eyes wide open. You'll probably only get five megabit per second. The next plan that you might want to consider on Verizon if you need lots of hotspot data, especially on something like a jetpack or a cellular embedded router, is go look for some of the old grandfathered legacy or corporate plans that you can lease from vendors. These are old grandfathered plans. They are not subject to any throttling or network management. They are truly unlimited. And there are a lot of companies and individuals out there who have a bunch, a bunch of these older plans and they rent them out. You can find them on places like eBay and we do have a vendor list right down below that you can go and look for the vendors that we are currently tracking. The prices vary quite a bit. It is a market supply and demand sort of thing we tend to see the range anywhere from about $110 a month all the way up to $250 per month. But if you need unlimited data, that is the best way to get a lot of Verizon data. Now, direct with Verizon, they do have their postpaid smartphone plans. Again, smartphones. And their new Get More Unlimited plan that they released over the summer includes 30 gigabytes of mobile hotspot use at high speed. So if you're comfortable hotspotting off of a smartphone, that might be an option to consider. That plan unfortunately does start at $90 per month. Now on Verizon's postpaid plans, you can add a jetpack to it. Just remember, any jetpack added to their postpaid unlimited plans is capped at 15 gigabytes of high speed mobile hotspot use. After you use 15 gigabytes of data, you will be slowed down to super slow speeds that aren't usable for much more than general surfing and email. One other plan from Verizon is on their prepaid. Now they did retire the unlimited jetpack plan back in May, but they do still um, honor their double data promotion. So for $65 per month with auto pay, you can get a jetpack plan with 30 gigabytes of data, $65 per month. So that's another option, especially if you want something without any contracts or commitments.
Okay, the changes for AT&T. There has been a lot of shakeup in the industry since our last video. And first of all, they have retired the RV unlimited plan that was on the Airstream and the to-go that retired in January. And they retired the unlimited prepaid data connect tablet plan that retired back in February. Uh, customers who are on the to-go or the Airstream are not grandfathered in upon their ex expiration. However, if you're using your prepaid tablet plan with in terms of service, you are grandfathered in. So what are the remaining options? Those were two very high top picks. There's the options that are remaining are the AT&T wireless internet plan. That one is direct from AT&T. It is on their wireless internet device. It is just a square device that uh, also has a phone jack in it. It's mainly meant for home internet use, but it is mobile compatible. You can take it on the road with you. They have two data plans on that one available. One is $60 per month that provides 50 gigabytes of data in a month, and another one that is 100 gigabytes for $100 per month. So those are two options that you can activate postpaid with AT&T. All right, next up, there's a new option, and this is from Cricket Wireless, which is a prepaid subsidiary of AT&T. So it is owned by AT&T, but it's going to be a lower priority data on their prepaid network. This is on a mobile hotspot device, so you can get, this is not the exact device, but you can get a mobile hotspot device from Cricket or bring your own AT&T compatible one. They have two different plans. One is $30 per month, and that one gets you 20 gigabytes of data. And the other one is $60 per month, and that gets you 40 gigabytes of data. And that is all at high speed usage on the Cricket network, which is on AT&T's uh, uh, network as well. And the interesting feature of this one is the data can be used internationally in Canada and Mexico. Mexico. So if you're crossing borders, that is a great option as well. And that one just came out. Another option that's come out is AT&T Business. So if you are a qualified business and you can get a business plan with AT&T, they have the Business Elite plan. Now this is a smartphone plan. It is not a, a hotspot plan. But what's really cool about the Elite, which goes for $85 per month, is it includes 100 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot use off of your smartphone. That is a very usable amount of data. Uh, if you don't mind hotspotting off of your smartphone. Just keep aware they did add back in network management at 100 gigabytes as well just recently on this plan since they released it. And the remaining option for AT&T, there are still unlimited data plan vendors and data brokers out there that are offering hotspot plans so you can use them on hotspot devices or routers. This is in a lot of flux since AT&T has been shutting down a lot of those unlimited data plans. So some of the vendors were just using that tablet plan behind the scenes, so they're no longer to activate new customers. It remains to be seen if customers that they currently have will be able to keep their plans. Some of sellers had actual official agreements with AT&T, and AT&T is changing up those and increasing prices. And there's just basically a lot of flux here. So we do keep a list of data brokers and vendors that you can go and look to see who's still offering services. Just keep in mind, this is a very volatile field and a lot of these plans could be subject to termination or discontinuation in the near term future or long term future. Or you might get lucky with one and keep it long term. It's just really hard to know. All right, T-Mobile, the magenta carrier. They do have a direct plan that you can get with them. It is postpaid and unlimited. And if you go with the global plus 15 gigabyte plan, which makes no sense for what I'm about to talk about, but that plan includes 15 gigabytes of usage internationally. But more importantly, here in the United States, it is the only plan T-Mobile offers that includes unlimited high-speed mobile hotspot use off of a smartphone. So it is not available on mobile hotspot devices, but if you're comfortable hotspotting off a smartphone, that might be an option. It is $120 per month to get that plan. And if you use more than 50 gigabytes of data in a month, they do require you to have at least half of your usage be on device smartphone usage, not via hotspot, because they're not intending it to be a home internet replacement. There are rental vendors out there as well that are selling various flavors of T-Mobile Unlimited plans for use on various hotspot devices. So you can get those. Those also range in price, usually starting around $60, $70 per month, all up to about $100 per month. And we do have a list of vendors that you can go follow up with down below. 
And an option that kind of surfaced in the last few months is Ultra Mobile. Now, Ultra Mobile is officially listed on T-Mobile's prepaid site as a partner for some of their lower-end prepaid small plans. But if you follow through to Ultra Mobile's base site, they actually offer what they call it an unlimited plan, but it's really only offering between 32 and 50 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot data for $40 to $49 per month. Just depends upon how many months you're willing to commit to as to which plan that you get. And hotspot is included on those plans. So that might be an option to look into as well. We have not tested it ourselves at this point. It is kind of a new option on the scene. All right, and Sprint. Nothing much has really changed in the options for Sprint since our last video, so I'll do a quick recap on those. First is direct with Sprint. You can get a hotspot uh, plan with them. They even sell a version of this Verizon My5, uh, the 8000, that you can get, and it is $60 per month for 100 gigabytes of usage. And you do get rollover with that, so if you don't use all your data this month, you can use it next month. It's a pretty affordable plan direct with Sprint that you might want to consider. Also, a lot of their smartphone plans do also include generous amounts of mobile hotspot use, ranging from 50 to 100 gigabytes of data a month. So Sprint currently has some of the most generous hotspot plans on the market. If you are a member of the FMCA, which is an RVers club, so anyone with a RV is eligible to join, you then have access to a rental plan through them on Sprint. It includes a hotspot device, and it is only $49.99 per month with unlimited high-speed mobile hotspot use. It's always network managed, however. So that is a great option still available from the FMCA. And those nonprofit plans are still available and out there. This is an old terms of service from when Sprint bought Clear Wireless that they inherited. So there are some nonprofits out there that to their members, they're able to offer unlimited data plans for as little as $10 to $33 per month. There's PCs for People and Calix Institute are the two popular long-standing options in that. All right, so that is currently the plans that we consider the best options for those who need lots of hotspot data. Please do follow up with this guide down below, mobileinternetinfo.com slash plan picks. If there are any changes to our guidance here, we first post them there. We only put one of these videos out every few months. So do make sure that you go and double check this information to make sure there aren't better options or some of these options might not have retired. And of course, selecting your data plans is not the only way that you keep online. It is such a huge decision on the equipment you use, on the carriers that you use, and also on the signal enhancing that you might use and other options like using Wi-Fi and satellite. And we are constantly tracking all of these options. You can find content here on this channel. You can find content on our mobile internet resource center where we have news stories, guides, and more. And all of this is made possible by our mobile internet aficionados, which is our premium membership. That is how we receive our funding. We're not sponsored. We don't have third party advertising and we are not selling any of this stuff. So we prefer to be unbiased and accountable to our community. And in return for their funding, our members get exclusive access to our in-depth guides, our alert newsletter, our Q&A forums to help them decide on their equipment and understand the options that are out there, as well as some pretty sweet vendor discounts that some of the vendors offer our members. So if mobile internet is an important part of your lifestyle, please do consider becoming a member so that we can help you even further than these free videos that we're able to put out. So until next time, may the bandwidth be with you. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.